Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Johan Review. So today I'm going to react to the episode 11 of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. So in the previous episode, uh, the fight between Onohana and Captain Zaraki Kenpachi are finally over. And it was Kenpachi who won the fight and he killed Onohana. So sadly to say that she won't be appearing anymore in the series because that's her final moment, her final duty to teach uh, Kenpachi or uh, to lay down the title of Kenpachi to Zaraki. And now she's already dead. And although we won't be able to see her anymore, we're just gonna have to move on from that, you know? Because after this, the fight between, I mean the battle between the Quincy and Shinigami are very brutal, I think. So, who knows what's gonna happen next after that fight with uh, Unohana. Is Zaraki Kenpachi powerful right now or not? I mean, we don't know yet. So, yeah. And, of course, uh, we also saw that Ichigo and Renji was able to meet the creator of Zanpak 2. And he already put them on a trial, I think. That's when they met some kind of, uh, I forgot the name, like those shadow things. Like they are Riazzo, right? Or maybe it's, uh, I forgot the name, okay? The fate name of those uh, Zanpakuto things. That soul of the Zanpakuto, I think. And Renji succeeded while Ichigo didn't, okay? So the, the creator actually sent Ichigo back to the clinic, I think. I think that was the uh, Kurosaki clinic when I saw that. Uh, I don't know if if he just sent her for a wimp or not, or just is it just a coincidence or he did that uh, deliberately. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe we might see this. We might see that in this episode anyway. So yeah, uh, let's play and watch the episode. Does he need to win that fight from those shadow thing or Asauchi? Yes, that's the name. Oh, wait, so the one that talks to Kenpachi before was really doesn't talk to. I mean, we already know that uh, Ichigo Sanpakuto is uh, Sangetsu, right? I think it was. The old man from the other world, from the uh, Sanpakuto, the Sangetsu thing. Wait. Yeah, he was sent to the Kurosaki clinic, which is the his home anyway. Yo, he disappeared, man. Oh, he ran away. I guess <laughs> I don't know what's going on now. So.
Ồ Rồi Ồ Ồ Ồ Ồ Ồ Ồ Ồ Ồ Whoa, okay. I mean, of course, Ikumi won't see him at all. Yo, your full bringer. Like, wait, full bringer? Is that what it's called? Compass? Pass? Forgot the name of that thing. I think these two are going to have a serious talk. Like deliberately, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, the creator of Zanpakuto is the one who kicked him out from the Zol society. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is history that this, he doesn't even know. You know, especially his mother. When, yeah, you watch, uh, actually mentioned that. Is he going to, oh, okay, he's going to tell it now. That was before, I think. Yeah, Quincy, I think. It's Quincy. Your mother is a Quincy. Oh, okay. Them. So this is how they met. Uh, his dad technically got injured from a fight, I think. I don't know what kind of fight, maybe from the hollow. But he's wearing a captain's clothes, so I doubt it. it's a strong hollow. Who knows? I'm not sure though. Squad 10. Wait, so, oh, wait, so he was the captain from the squad then. <laughs> Man, Rangiko and Toshiro when they're young. I mean, Rangiko has the short hair, but she's still busting up. Whoa, something mystery is going on, I think. Crime scene. Oh, maybe this when something happened from there. He went alone. 
And then there he probably got to meet Ichigo's mom there. Oh, what is this evil scientific love or something? Oh, oh, Aizen, I think. Aizen? I saw the glasses. The voice. He's the one who's behind this. Now I get it. Them. This dude has always been a uh, sketch even way before Ichigo was born, you know? you know? So I guess he must have done something in here. There's an hollow, probably. Oh, whoa. I have a, I have a feeling of this a nasty auntie feeling, you know? We got an evil auntie. So basically, Kurosaki family is a queen C. And she was here. this guy though <laughs> she looks beautiful though Wait, is she the family? Oh! Wait! Ishida. So, is this Ishida's family? Okay. So, basically, um, Misaki, her name is Misaki, right? Misaki Kurosaki was supposed to marry this guy from this Ishida family. Oh, it's Masaki. It's not Misaki. Masaki. Okay. Is, is he the dude from episode 1 or 2? Or like the one where Ishida talking to?
What just happened? Yo, we got a long hair. This is unusual hollow gear. The face kind of familiar though. And this is when she sensed the danger, the fight going on outside. That's why she went there and then that's where Ichigo's father got injured. Okay. Okay, it's having a hard time. Wait, yeah, wait. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious if uh, Ichigo's mother has other relatives of Kurosaki. That's gonna be funny to see though, but that's gonna be interesting to see. Okay. So, supposedly Quincy has this strict rules of not helping others, I think. Or not kind of going in the battle without any Preparation, I think. Menos. What? Oh. <laughs> He has the same flame. Oh, wait, why did it get freaking Eisen man? He was there, he was there. Don't tell me he's the one who's responsible here, or maybe Eisen here to capture the hollow. Oh, traitor. Okay, it is Eisen, the traitor one. Oh, well, he's struggling to fight this guy. You know, this, this hollow really looks like the one where I think it's similar to Ichigo's hollow. For some reason, the long hair and the mass and the horn you know i think it's finally connecting is it is it oh man it really looks like it though wait what are you doing Oh, 
Suicide Bomber? Oh, what the hell? It's self-destruct and disappeared. I think it's dead. Oh man, wow, this, this, this is how these two met each other. I remember like Quincy and Shinigami always been in a uh, worse relationship, you know, worse uh, enemy each other. Oh, she mentioned it. Oh man, look at this guy. Oh man. <laughs> Both of them, this is the first time they see each other's uh, identity, you know, the Queen's and the Shinigami. Oh, this guy actually went here. I th I think he was supposed to help her, but I guess he didn't. Okay, so it is Aizen's uh, that is possible for that hollow thing. What do you mean? What do you mean choosing a Quincy of the opposite one? Oh man, this is so... Oh, shit. We're having a mystery thoughts here, you know. We cannot solve yet or know anything yet. But we can always guess what's uh, going to happen next, probably. Man, there's so many things here that they are uh, trying to uh, guess things. Wait, hello, what's this? Ishida? What's going on? Hey! Man, wow, okay, this is an interesting backstory they actually show us in this episode, which which is One, two, three, go. Man, this episode are very interesting, you know, because they actually show us the uh, backstory of Ichigo's and, uh, I mean Ichigo's dad and his mother, which is like how they met together, you know, like how they become Kurosaki uh, each other. <laughs> I mean, I'm not entirely sure, like, these two suddenly got into a relationship but this is so interesting because imagine if a Shinigami and a Quincy are both in a war each other in a thousand years and then suddenly these two here is like the same as Romeo and Juliet you know 
you, you you get what I'm thinking like both sides have been in uh, a war to each other and they're not getting along for the longest time and we already know that uh, the 13th uh, the original 13 Gote squad already annihilate all the Quincy but turns out there are other Quincy here and that is the Ishida's family is still here you know and of course Kurosaki but I'm not entirely sure whether there's another Kurosaki member relatives but who knows you know maybe Ichigo's mom is the only one in the Kurosaki right now so maybe they, maybe they might show us in the next few episodes I don't know I mean we can always guess it but we don't know yet so uh, as I said this is an interesting story they actually show us like how these two uh, will become appearance of Ichigo which is kind of awesome you know and I cannot wait to see like how they're going to do things in the few episodes you know to be honest that uh, was Aizen the one who was responsible for that kind of hollow in a black one so that hollow is a mixture of a Shinigami you know that's what I gather so what well, that's what I gather in this episode so basically uh, that Shini, I mean that hollow looks similar to the uh, Ichigo's uh, hollow vacation you know the one we saw that that looks like a, a full hollow that Ichigo when he fought Ulkiara. Remember that? That's a that exactly like the same thing. I think it's just it looks black, but the one where Ichigo used is like the only mask and then the long hair and then of course the full body of Shinigami. But I'm not exactly sure whether that hollow is the real thing, like the similar that. Uh, Ichigo's hallification, but we might see that in the next episode, maybe. And yeah, so I didn't expect that Masaki Kurosaki is really strong in this one, you know. But she just let herself get bite and then she blasts him that hollow in the head and he died, but it's just self destructed anyway. And then that's when uh, Ichigo's father, which is Ishin, Drop, the, drop down man so this is how these two will bloom in their relationship or maybe like uh that's when masaki maybe like fell in love to ichigo's dad i don't know i'm not sure though but we might get that in the i mean we might get to see that in the next episode hopefully okay uh, okay i mean i guess this is it okay so if you like this video subscribe now bye bye